You are about to take another green energy adventure with me, Jay Nygaard, the Turbine Guy. Well, a few years ago, when I got tired of cranking my boat up and down on the lift whenever we brought it in and out, I decided I was going to put an electric crank on it, electric winch, and in doing so, I also decided to go renewable. So what I'm going to show you here today is my solar powered boat lift. I picked up this 25 watt solar module, fairly cheap on eBay, had free shipping as well. Now if you look at the bottom, you can see a positive and a negative wire come out. And I've run those all the way over and down to my charging station. Well here we are at the charging station where we've got the power running down from the solar module runs into a 12 volt charge controller which charges the 12 volt lead acid battery for the boat lift as well as it runs off through some wires and charges a 12 volt lawnmower battery in there that runs my 12 volt bilge pump. I also sister a couple of wires off the solar module and run a 6 volt charge controller. This charges the main batteries in the boat because it's an actual 6 volt boat just like old boats and old cars were. So I have to have two different charge controllers I got both of these off of eBay pretty cheap. I got the battery at the discount short store fairly cheap and ready to go. We have a close-up of the charge controller, which is maintaining the voltage of both batteries it's hooked up to at a nice 13.7 volts. We can see down on the bottom that we have the solar module coming into these hookups. We've got the batteries coming out here. And we have a load hooked up to here because this can be hooked up to or timed and run a load. But I don't have any loads hooked up. Next, we have the 6 volt charge controller, which is much simpler and I was happy to find. But that one, as I said, is hooked up to the boat batteries. Last but not least, we have a close up of our energy storage, which is just a typical car battery. Okay, to finish off my solar powered boat lift, I ran up to Tractor Supply and picked myself up a 12 volt trailer winch for winching cars on and off trailers. And it's got the ups and downsies. And you can see I installed it. And up it goes, one way or another. Now if I was to run this all day every day, I don't think this module would keep up. But because it's such an intermittent use, the 25 watt module is fine. Now the last feature I have is you remember I told you I have these hooked up to the batteries in the boat. Well I've got 12 and 6 volt batteries and the way that I dealt with it was I've got color coded. White is 12, black is 6 volt and these plug-ins are sized correctly for polarity, positive and negative, so you can't plug them in backwards. So I really wanted to make sure that I didn't have any accident and burn any wires out. Well today, you got to take a look at my idea of a small off-grid system to make my life easier and there's plenty that you can do too. If you have your own idea and you want a little help figuring something like this out, feel free to uh, drop me a line. Go to my website at gogreenenergyonline.com. You can find my email on the contact page. Well, thanks for joining us once again for a green energy adventure with me, the Turbine Guy. And if you have any questions for me or you want to contact me about something, you can always find me at my website, gogreenenergyonline.com, gogreenenergyonline.com, and find my email address on the contact page.